So climate protesters blocking the road, an old man apparently has had enough and shot one of them. <laughs> I weep so profusely for this individual. This is what happens when the government does not enforce laws. This is what happens when you have a one-sided government that favors one faction over the other. You cannot prevent people from getting to work. And the question that I have, and it was overwhelmingly in favor on the Twitter comment section, in favor of what actually took place. Now, we can say with great certainty that I don't think that this man should have shot him, but I understand completely where the anger comes from. The question that I have for you guys, and I'd love it if you guys could comment below. Let's say that you have a medical emergency with, say, your son, your daughter. And if you don't get them to the hospital in the next 10 minutes, they're going to die. They are relying upon you. And these people are intentionally delaying you. And you go up to them and you say, we have a medical emergency and they refuse to move, which has happened before because they are so clung. They're hanging on to that ideology that is immovable the same way that they make themselves. So you can either shoot one of them and disperse them and save your son or daughter, or you can sit idly by as your loved one perishes. Whose fault would that be? Well, obviously, the Soros DAs would stick it to the average citizen that's trying to rescue his daughter, and it might be illegal, but morally, I think that you'd be in the right to do so. You've explained the situation. It's the truth. These people are attempting to kill your child at that point. That is murder, ideology over the human life. And it's not even like that this is the civil rights movement where you can understand where these people are coming from. I mean, are we supposed to trust the climate science as to how it's being drummed up in the media and hyped? Is not this, could this not be the same as COVID and the medical science surrounding the vaccine is the same thing with climate science? I think so. I believe that humans are very adaptive. And I think that these people's energy is being misused and that their ideology is completely misguided. But when they continue to stand in your way, on your way to work, do they think that they're changing anybody's mind when they continually do so? When they go into theaters and throw paint or hammer away at masterpieces worth millions of dollars that are the heritage of the human race that demonstrate our history? These people want to erase history. They want to subject us all to their whims that they've been taught by the alarmists and to take over everybody's life. So again, I ask you, what are your thoughts? Are you correct in shooting someone who's preventing you from getting to the hospital with a 10 year old who's about to die if they don't reach the hospital in time? That is the question. And you can condemn this man for shooting the activists, but I understand where the anger comes from. And again, this is the direct fault of the authorities that refuse to enforce the law and hold these activists responsible for their actions in terms of a false imprisonment. You are preventing these people from moving, from getting where they need to go. In my opinion, that is false imprisonment that they are subjecting the crowds to. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Again, I weep so deeply for this climate activist. <laughs> okay, that makes me a dick. I know that, but I don't care. Peace.